Bloom's Laser Control NT tool setting system is designed to operate with utmost reliability in the most contaminated of machining environments. Designed to be completely sealed from the environment, its lenses are protected from contamination via a pneumatically operated shutter and purging system. Lenses are never exposed to the elements except while the system is under pressure during a measurement cycle. To ensure continuous operation and zero downtime, it is recommended to perform periodic maintenance of the integrated shutter system. To do this, first locate the pneumatic unit installed with your laser system and shut off the main air supply. While here, you should visually inspect the filter reservoir. A blue or yellowish filter could indicate the filter needs to be replaced, which is easily done by unscrewing the reservoir ring. Also check that the drain valve is clear of liquid and draining correctly. If you believe your filters need replaced, you can find a list of maintenance parts in the manual supplied with your system, or simply call your local distributor for part and pricing info. Now remove the lenses pollution protectors by removing the four cap screws from each. Once removed, use a lens tissue or cleaning solvent to clean each side. Glare on the lens will reveal if there's still contamination on the lenses. To clean a pollution protector, remove the cap with the flathead screwdriver. Note that the internal piston is spring-loaded, so be careful not to let it jump out by accident. Remove the piston and spring and visually inspect the aperture for contamination. Using a Q-tip soaked in cleaning solvent, clean the aperture and internal compartments. Also inspect the white felt ring. It should be bright white in color. If the ring is discolored, it is recommended to replace the pollution protectors. Now clean the piston with a lens tissue or cleaning solvent. Once clean, apply a small bead of Bloom's Isoflex grease to the piston seal and vertical slot so it seals and glides freely when replaced. Now reassemble, replacing each piece in reverse order. You can insert your Allen key through the aperture to hold it in position so you can replace the cap easier. Now apply a small bead of grease to the cap o-ring to ensure a full seal. We now test that our laser OK and output LEDs function properly. Now replace each pollution protector by aligning their alignment pins and securing each with their cap screws. Lastly, with the shutters assembled, we now turn our air supply back on and test the system again to ensure the shutters are opening properly.